Fuck. Damn it all to hell. Went to the garage to, um, look for my latex kit. And, as it turns out, it's gone. I don't know what happened to it, but it's gone. Hopefully it's just in the basement. But either way, I didn't have time to make my Dog War Siren prosthetic. So instead, um... Today's makeup tutorial is Aphrodite from God of War. Which only means that when it's dark outside, I have to run and hide. Can't look behind me. So first order of business, I'm going to try and get a similar look as her hair. Obviously, it's not long enough for her braid. However, I can try and get the slight poof that she has by tying a very simple low ponytail at the bottom of my hair. So you get that kind of poof, and then you have the one strand behind you down. Alright, but we're going to tuck that strand behind my ear while I put the makeup on. So, as you saw, Aphrodite has a very smooth, even complexion, and it's a normal color, it's not clown makeup white, like my usual soil. So we're going to use Mary Kay Foundation. This is Ivory 104. And it was, again, hand selected for me by This is why I use them for foundation. Now, so I like always told me, Warrior, paint when you do this. My mom taught her that, and she showed me at a recent Oticon. And it actually works better than my original method of putting the stuff on. Anyway, as you can see, the stuff won't blind you, obviously, that's why they test this. But, um, Although Mary Kay is cruelty free, but they still do test it, it's not on animals. But the reason they test it is to make sure that it does not blind you if you get it in your eye, which it doesn't if you've been tested or else it wouldn't be on the market. And also, it's Anyway, that aside, we got a nice even tone there. And of course, Aphrodite is a goddess, and the goddess of love and beauty. So. What else but a little bit of luminescence to enhance that goddess threat? And we're gonna uh, this time rather than a little bit extra. Usually I only put on the upper cheek where my brush goes out. This day it's going all over the cheek. Then it's extra. Okay, so. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of an extra glow Next order of business is we're going to use Lime Crime Primer, Candy Eyes. And this stuff is great. It doesn't sweat off, it doesn't come off with water, and you always want to put this on before you put the actual um, eyeliner on, because the only problem I've ever had with this is that it will pick up your eyeliner. And then we're going to go also into the corner a little bit, because I just got a little bit of a cat's eye going with the purple. And so, next, we're going to use Twilight, which is a violet sparkling color from Lime Prime. You might say it's a Twilight Sparkle. Uh, no, but seriously, one of my next tutorials is Rarity, so, um, my little tiny cosplay where it's coming up. Anyway, as usual, we're going to take a little bit onto our brush, and we're going to tap it. And then we're going to put it on nice and easy on top of the eyelid. You want to really cover it because Aphrodite's got a very distinctive purple glow around her eyes in God of War 3. Now a little bit less when you do the cat's eye. Alright. That's one eye down. Now the other. And as you can tell, you do get a little bit of primer on your brush when you put it on the first eye which actually makes it much, much easier to do the second eye without tapping, which is why I did not tap that time. All right. Wow. 
my leg needs a little bit more in the corner there. I'm sure you can tell. Uh, let's make sure that it's even. Let's see. Work it in over there. And a little bit more on this side. Alright. So that's our purple. And now what we're going to do is we're going to let that set a little bit before we go on with the eyeliner. And in order to let it set, we are going to, I'm going to go get my blush that I forgot. So yeah, um, I forgot my blush this time, but here it is. Again, Briar Rose by MAC Cosmetics. This is a limited edition Disney Villains. And for Aphrodite, we're going to do a small little dusting and then rub it in. And again small little dusting and rub it in. Aphrodite is the goddess of love and beauty, not the goddess of hookers despite her rampant, crazy fruit mythology sex. But anyway. Now, we will assume that the Lime Crime Shadow has set enough, and Aphrodite has very, very well outlined eyes. You can very, very easily See that they are lined in a dark eyeliner, and of course there is a bit of a cat side to it. Then the other eye now. Okay. And we need a bit more of a tail on this one because it doesn't get as long as it should have. There we go. Alright, and now as you can see, you got a tail on each eye. Very small, not too noticeable from afar, yet up close you will notice. Now, I'm going to harken back to my thorn tutorial. Remember how I said mascara only in the corners? We're going to go with that again, but a little bit further into the corner. We're going to try our best not to hit the front area of my eye, and instead only the corner lashes. Because again, Aphrodite has got very prominent lashes at the corners of her eyes. And again, this other eye. Same deal, a little bit harder. Not on my good side for that. Alright. Oh, and how you test, you can't really see on this because, again, my video quality is for shit, but look to the side, look to the other side, and if there weren't an alliance banner behind me that's the same color, you should be able to see the lashes sticking out when they're both sticking out an equal amount. Now you got it right. And after that, these lips are a vibrant pink shade. Countessa Fluorescent would be better for this. But I can't for the life of me get my hands on a tube of that. It's always sold out. So instead, I'm going to try Centrifugia and see how that turns out. Great Pink Planet didn't work so well, so here we go. Kissy. Alrighty. And, voila. We have the Goddess of Love, Aphrodite. Okay. And that's my Aphrodite tutorial. And please stay tuned next week for what will hopefully be a rarity tutorial. And if not, I will find something else to show you how to do. Uh, again, this was one of my simpler ones, but I really hope you enjoyed it and that it was helpful to you. And you may recall I said I only do a... Um, make a tutorial when I have the cosplay planned. I do have an Aphrodite cosplay planned, but obviously that's not something we wrote to a convention. If you heard the IMing noises in the background, that would be the one person who's going to see this costume. <laughs> anyway, 